Yo guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I am gonna be uh, I'm gonna be doing an answer question and answer video for you guys. Unfortunately only a few people have asked me questions which I'm gonna be answering. I'm sorry I couldn't get more people, no one wanted to ask me any other questions. But these people that have asked me these questions, thank you. And guys I am now up to 13 t subscribers, and you guys, the new people, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for subscribing, and thank you for pressing that notification bell. So today I'm doing a question and answer video. But first, I want to have a massive shout out to someone I actually care about. One of my friends, who does actually lives da down the road from me, unfortunately, um, well, not unfortunately, I don't know why I said unfortunately, but oh well. But what he has done, he has, oh my god, I don't know how to explain this, guys. He has gi given up the captaincy at the football club I am at. We work at the same team, and... And he said, he told the manager that he doesn't want to be the captain anymore. So he said, I want someone else to be the captain. And that person he wanted to be the captain is me. So I have now got the captain armband. So thank you, Thomas. I, f I absolutely appreciate. I know you are subscribed to my channel. So thank you ever so much, Tom. Literally, I'm happy you've done that for me, bro. Thank you. So guys... Let's get on to this adventure. So guys, <laughs> turns out I wasn't actually recording! Wow! So, guys, this is important. So, if I was a government... This is off you, Marie Langford, thank you. So, if I was a government leader, what four things would I say to the world? Be kind, be respectful, be caring, supportive, and stand up to racism because racism on this planet is not tolerated. Black, look at the, look at the way I'm sitting. I'm I'm actually on one knee. Black lives matter, guys. It really does matter. Black lives matter. Spread that. I know it's everywhere on TV. I know it's everywhere on Facebook and everywhere else. But spread the word. Black lives matter. Because you know something, guys? It really does. Another person was shot the other day. Seven times in the back. For an, un an unarmed black man. Shot an innocent black man. Shot in the same back. Shot seven times in the back for no reason. No reason. So, guys... Stand up to racism. If you see anyone else get it, getting, if you see anyone getting racist, stand up for yourself and tell him it's not okay. And if you see any other one that's get getting hurt by racism, support them. Go up to them and support them and show them your, all your love that you have. It doesn't. You don't. You don't have to be in a relationship or not to do that. You, in you, you've got a conscience which you all care about, like I have. Like I've got, I've got things that I care about all the time, and you know what? I appreciate that. So, Marie, thank you for asking me that question. I really appreciate that because I actually, I actually wanted to get that question out first because you guys need to know that question. You need to and you need to to hear the answer of that question. So Marie Langford, thank you ever so much. I'm gonna read all your questions out first, Marie. And now, if I could have one wish, what would it be? I wish I know I'm 21, guys. I know, but I wish I could live with my mum more. That's what. Unfortunately, I was taken away from my mum for reasons I am not going to explain. Okay. So, unfortunately, I am not, unfortunately, I can't have that anymore, but, you know what, I can always see my mum, at least. So, thanks, Marie. If I was on an island, what things, were, what three things would I take? Ha! Ah, Marie, Marie, Marie. Thank you. You put me in hard, some, some difficult questions, so thank you. Um, 
So I would take my bed because <laughs> I'm not sleeping on no bloody floor where spiders can all worm so frogs can jump all over ya. I would take obviously clothes which is important and first aid kit because you never know or actually no not first aid kit hmm Marie what have you done to me <laughs> what have you done to me Marie <laughs> Um, so, uh, what else? What would be the third thing? I'll take a family member. Someone you can actually speak to. So, yeah. Thanks, Murray. I've... How long have I had YouTube and why? I've had YouTube for four months now and... The reason why, because I want to share my day-to-day -day life with you guys. I've had, literally, last time I checked my YouTube was two days ago. I only had eight subscribers. And now I checked today, up to 14. So thank you to my new subscribers and welcome to my channel. I want to post my day-to-day -day -day life. And no, guys, I'm not married. It's my, my ex-girlfriend gave me, um, one of my old ex-girlfriends gave me, I can't be asked to take it off, like, you know what I mean? Just be respectful, like, you know what I mean? Because I don't want to lose it either, so. Um, so, yeah, I want to share my day-to-day -day life with you guys, and I appreciate in everything I do. Because I love sharing my life with people. And now I've got a videos to show you what I what I can do, what I'm going to do. But, guys, I need you to all add me on Facebook. If you haven't got me, add me at Steph Fisher. On my Facebook, go on my messenger, message me and give me some ideas for some new videos. Because guys, since there's more of you, I can, I can upload a whole lot more. So guys, please, 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 message me on Facebook to tell me what more videos you want. So thank you. Who would I snog? Who would I snog, marry and avoid? If it's Katy Perry, Taylor Swift or Beyonce. Cease. Marie, was that question necessary? <laughs> well, most of you are going to kill me now. But, I would avoid Beyonce. I would snog um, Taylor Swift. And I'd marry Katy Perry. So that I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to explain why. I'm just going with my thought and my mind and my heart. So, yeah, I'm not going to explain. I thought my neck was black then. I was like, how the fuck is my neck got black? But it's the shadow off my shirt. Lol. It's funny. What's my dream job? Thanks, Mary. My dream job... Well, I've already got two dream jobs, which I'm doing right now. So, football player, which I'm doing right now. And I'll start my first ever shift on Sunday as my second dream job as a part-time chef. I'm a part-time chef now, so, guys... Literally, I've got two jobs, football player and a part-time chef, which I can't be much more happy about. I'm at least over the moon. So guys, I'm not telling you the location, you have to find it yourself. So guys, yeah. So thanks Marie for your all your questions. And now I've got one off my friend. What makes a loyal friend? Someone you can trust, you care about. You care for, you look as a, at your brother or, or your sister. Um, even people you can share your secrets to. That's what a loyal friend is. That's what it makes a loyal friend. Because look at Leo Piera. Once my friend, but then stabs me in the fucking back. Saying he wanted to help me, who attacked me? Saying he wanted to help, but now he's saying he doesn't want to see me again because of his religion. If he had a religion, he would have told me right from the start. I'm not going to get too angry because I've got a video to film. But, like, he would have told me. So, yeah. Unfortunately, he didn't. Because he's a backstabber. Sorry, but that's what he is. So, thanks, Adam, for that question. Okay, Millie. Time for Millie's questions. What was my first score? My first ever primary school I went to was um, St James's primary school, but unfortunately, due to health and safety conditions and the risks to my safety, 
I had to leave that school because the staff was abusing me every single day. And then, so I was moved to Dudley to go to Robert's Primary School. And that school treated me absolutely fantastic. So Robert's Primary School, you owe me one for this, for adding you into this video. So, um, so yeah, Robert's, I would actually class Robert's as my first primary school, even though I went to one, another one first. So guys, I'll, thank you, thank you, Millie, thank you. What was my first pet's name? My first, my first ever pet's name was named Buddy. But unfortunately, he died. He got run over by a car, and then the owner of that car got out and started laughing after running over my dog. Like, why would you? Sorry, my feet are fucking. Sorry, my feet are fucking hurting me. Excuse the, excuse my French, guys. So yeah, guys, like, yeah, he was laughing, saying you deserve what's happened to your dog. Like, come on. How can a dog deserve getting run over by a bloody car? And how is it funny? I miss that dog so much. I loved that dog. I miss that dog. So it ain't funny on what happened to him. Who is my favourite singer? This is definitely this is coming out straight away, so thanks Millie. Shane Feeling and the song that I'm talking about is Beautiful in White because I can relate to that song. That song is fantastic. I love that song. That's a great love song. So thanks, Millie. One place I would like to visit, the Philippines. Thanks, Millie. Because it's, a, it's just been my dream to go to the, uh, Asia, so thanks, Millie, for that one. What challenges will we face in the next years? Guys, we've got the coronavirus going round. I think we're going to be tackling this virus for a very long while. And we're ta tackling global warming as well. What, guys, we need to save our ecosystem, guys. We need to save it. Because if we don't, the pilot, pilot ice caps will melt. And then the sea levels will rise by fucking... I don't know how many percent because I don't watch the news. But, like... But, like, the sea levels will rise... Stop throwing plastic in the wrong bins. Throw it in the right bins. Recycle more. And you know something? We've got this virus. We're going to tackle this. A second wave is coming. I can snow it. I can feel it. I can sense it. So I say we've got this coronavirus for the, over the next few years to face. So thanks, Millie. What made me be a football player and a chef? Because ever since I was a kid, I supported the Wolverhampton Wanderers, if you can see behind me. I draw those on wood. Took me a while to colour them in. But there you go. So let me move here. There you go. And basically, yeah. And literally, cooking, it's always been my, my inspiration. Because every time I watched Jamie Oliver on TV, I just fell in love with him. I just wanted to be like him, and that's why I've now got a cooking job. That, thank you. So, I'll shout out to Jamie Oliver, even though we might never watch his videos, but a massive thanks to him. So, Millie, thank you for your questions. And the last question I do have If it can be one person, who would it be? Hmm. I want to be like the Wolves midfielder. Adama Traore, he's quick, he's powerful, he's skillful. Because look at, guys, look at my arms. I am getting big. I'm going to the gym a whole lot more set now since they've the reopened. So guys, I want to be like Adama Traore. So thank you to my football manager who actually said that. Thank you, Mike. Thanks, Mike, my boy. So guys, I'd like to say a massive thank you for your questions that you've sent me. And I'm glad I've done this video. So guys, don't forget to be you and do you, okay? So, uh, and the thing you just hear me scraping the floor, the thing I was sitting on the start of the video. But, um, so don't forget to be you and do you. So, so, get, right, get, get so much more people to, to subscribe because I have got, I thought I got a big treat coming out for you guys very, very soon. Very soon, I've got a treat for you guys coming. So guys, get more people to all of you, get more people to subscribe, press that notification, get, get into press that notification bell, make sure they turn it to all. <coughs>
Pardon me, sorry I burped in my video, but get him to send it to or <laughs> send it to or and like get him to subscribe and watch my videos. So guys, don't forget to be you, do you, stay positive, live your life, love your life, and never give up. So guys, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.